we all know that while the holidays can be joyous, they can also be a source of sadness. And our next guest is a world renowned trauma specialist, and he's here to shed some light on how we can celebrate the holidays and take care of our mental health. Dr. Frank Anderson, welcome to DBL. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Dr. Anderson, let's jump right in. We actually touched on this earlier in the show. Speaking yeah. about social media, can it make it seem like everyone is super happy and life is perfect during the holidays, but how could we manage our own expectations? Yeah, that's a great point. You know, you were all talking about Brad Pitt a couple minutes ago, right? Totally aligned with social media. Do I look like him? Do I have his life? Do I, am I somebody who wants he wants to be with, right? There's so much pressure for all of us to kind of create a life that we see on social media or to compare ourselves to what we see on social media. Most people reach out in social media because they're looking for connection. But if you're lonely and you're struggling, you're gonna actually be on social media more and it's gonna make you feel worse because you're gonna feel more lonely if you compare yourself to the false narrative that so many people put out there when they're putting themselves on social media, right? And so I think of social media as an addiction. And what I say to people is really limit your exposure. You know, too much exposure of too good of a thing is just as harmful as too much exposure of watching war or things like this on TV. Both can have a negative impact if we let it get out of control. Mm. So I am one of those people where I get a little anxiety during the holidays because um, like during COVID, I lost a lot of people during that break. So it always yeah. kind of heightens my senses. What are some tips that you have for making our mental health as healthy as possible this holiday season, especially if we're dealing with that type of trauma residual effect? The most important thing I can say for people is to really try and make conscious choices and make conscious choices from a calm centered place within yourself, not from the parts of you that have been traumatized. The parts of us that have gone through trauma or gone through loss will make different decisions. For example, if you're deciding to go home and visit family over the holidays and you come from a dysfunctional family, make sure you make good choices, have an exit plan, maybe stay in a, ho in a hotel or something like this, stay with a friend, if things get heated at the dinner table, it's okay to leave. And on the flip side, if you're deciding to stay home and not go and see family over the holidays, don't isolate yourself. Like really make some choices, reach out to friends, maybe even have a party yourself. It's really not helpful when we're making these choices and we reenact the very things we're trying to get away from. Great advice. Uh, I want to ask you about tough situations we might face during the holiday season. Uh, what should I do if someone in my family is going through a divorce or something similarly that you don't know if you should bring it up or not? Yeah, that's a great question because oftentimes we tend to avoid the difficult topics, right? If somebody's going through a divorce, if somebody's going through cancer treatment, for example, we have this tendency to avoid them and not talk about it because we're upset that it's going to bring negative feelings for them. Here's what I like to suggest to people is just ask them, hey, I know you're going through a divorce. Is it something you want to talk about right now? Is this something that would be helpful? Sometimes a divorce can be the best thing that happened to somebody in their life, as opposed to something horrific and difficult, something horrific, even though it's a difficult process. So always defer to the person and trust that they're going to be able to tell you what they need, whether it's talking about it or not talking about it. So you don't have to decide on your own. And another important reminder is that it's okay for people to have difficult feelings. We tend to forget that because we're all supposed to be happy during the holidays. Oh, I love that. And we have about a minute left, but really important. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about navigating the loss of a family member. My family experienced that a couple years ago, and it's still, it's, it's difficult during the holidays to look at that empty seat at the table. That's right. Well, it is difficult to look at uh, the empty seat at the table, but I really do encourage people to set a place setting yeah, for somebody. We do. Who, yep. Right. Somebody who we've lost. The first year is particularly difficult and challenging around grief because it's the first of everything. 
And this for me is the most important time to set up new traditions within the family. Mm. It's okay to be sad, like set a candle for the person who you've lost, for all the people you have lost. Um, Get, give them a present, you know, put their picture up, set a, set a place at the table. I do think people really, again, shy away from difficult feelings during the holidays. It makes them real and it makes them balanced. It's okay to be sad. Yeah. Grief is a way of showing our love for someone that we've lost. Beautifully said. We will add a picture and a candle to that place setting. I appreciate you. We all do. Dr. Anderson, thank so you important. so much for being here and sharing this with us. DBL Nation, to hear more from Dr. Anderson, you can buy his personal memoir about trauma and healing to be loved, available on May 7th. Thank you again.